After watching Dale Jr.'s Lost Speedways and even Slap Shoes' Slap on Location series, it got me thinking about a fun video idea discussing about a road course that was built in Northern Kentucky not that long ago, but was never completed. This video will be about Bluegrass Motorsports Park. Bluegrass Motorsports Park was a 2.50 mile long road course that was designed by former Formula One driver Derek Daly, the father of IndyCar driver Connor Daly. The track was actually built just about 10 miles from Kentucky Speedway, right off of I-71. According to the track's Facebook page, which still exists, and I will link down in the description below if you're curious, it broke ground in April 2008 and was scheduled to open in the spring of 2009. This track also featured different elevation changes throughout the course and even planned of having multiple different track layouts, including karting tracks. Derek Daly was even quoted saying, the unique style of the property will afford us the opportunity to create what I believe will be one of the finest road courses in America. This track seemed like it was very hyped up, even where they managed to invite Rusty Wallace out to take some laps around it when the paving was nearing completion. So what happened? In the past, I have read all sorts of different things, digging around on old forms and whatever else I could find. There were different things discussed, such as the area being a restricted space that wouldn't even allow racing from the likes of the SCCA, or to conflicts with the environment around the track. But the biggest thing that I kept circling back to was the track just simply running out of money. Not to mention, this track was being made right when the economic recession occurred, which I believe put a huge damper on the track. There's a good chance that even after the recession, the track would struggle financially moving forward. In 2012, the track was put up for sale for an asking price of $3.9 million. There are some videos that I will show in the video of people driving on the track and even some drone shots as well of what the track looks like. Those people will be credited with the videos as this video is being edited. I've only seen bits of the track off of I-71 as I've driven by it and really have never been able to see it or access it. The track was never 100% paved, though by just looking at it, this track looked like it could have been a lot of fun to drive on with its twisting turns, long straightaway, and changes in elevation. Even could have been one of the most premier road courses in America. So the biggest takeaways of its sudden downfall was running out of money to complete it and the timing of building the track during an economic collapse. With its short history, most likely the track will never be finished and will only be looked back on as what could have been. It wasn't all doom and gloom, however, for building a road course in Kentucky. In 2014, a 3.15 mile National Corvette Museum Motorsports Park opened in Bowling Green. The track is pretty much what Bluegrass Motorsports Park could have been. Who knows, maybe one day NASCAR or IndyCar could take a look at NCM Motorsports Park to see if the track is properly set up to host that kind of racing. Oh well, one can dream. One last thing, if you guys happen to find any more information of Bluegrass Motorsports Park, I'd love to see it. Feel free to comment down below. I know this was kind of a short video, but this was something I wanted to at least talk about for a while. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm SonicRolls831, and I will see you in the next video.